the last time on Pete and his bus. On my 1979 Vespa 100, a man in traffic shouted at me and said I was a poser. Well, do you know what, man? Especially for you, eat this. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. To create the hatches on the side of our bus, I'm gonna have to remove the old windows. And for that, I need to tackle screws and rivets. There are lots of them, so I better start at the front. Any piece that comes off this bus will be labelled so I know exactly where it needs to go if it needs to go back. It takes a lot more than you think to remove a window out of a Rootmaster bus because all the interior trim has got to come out and then it needs an exact gap for the window to be removed. But for some reason this one just won't move. We've hit a bit of a bus roadblock because Rootmasters didn't always have lights like this in them. This is what Rootmaster bus interior lighting should look like. But in 1992, strip lights were fitted. The reason why I'm removing all of the strip lighting is because A, it doesn't look very nice, and B, I can't get access to the windows from the inside. So it's all gotta go. And just like that, our bus has given us an amazing gift. Original adverts that have not seen the light of day for 30 years. But sadly, I've also discovered that whoever removed the original lighting had half a brain and was probably bullied at school because they must have used a crowbar to take them out. This is going to take a lot of work to put right. Daylight is starting to fade and I still haven't removed a single window from this bus. But number one suddenly gives out. Yeah, baby. Number two shortly follows. But trust me, my mission's not over. Number three tests my patience. What a total pain in the flipping bottom. And after seven attempts, it lets go. We're down to the final window. Uh, the issue with the last window is the fact that the seat rest of the four seats up here blocks my axis. So I'm going to do my best to remove this without destroying any of it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Today's work could have gone a lot faster, but we had the problems with the lighting, the seat back, so it ended up taking ages. But the result is all the windows are out, and most importantly, nothing got damaged. Now for those of you who were watching last time, I found something in the bus while I was stripping the interior out, and I promised I would show you. Check this out.
and the winner is the key. Lord knows how long it took to figure out that it was missing permanently. What did it open? No one will ever know. I present to you the key.